Hi there. This is my development walkthrough for Arcane Tavern, a Dungeon Defenders map. The goal for this project was to demonstrate that I can make a map that's just as good as the maps in the game. The story behind this map is that it's a tavern for mages. It still had to look like it was a place for people to eat, drink, and even sleep, but I wanted it to feel magical. I achieved the tavern for mages theme by having these floating crystals. These are mages. They don't use normal light sources. But I also wanted to incorporate the apprentice's towers somehow to give the place an even stronger connection to a mage. Another layer of story that I implemented is the idea that a few mages got drunk and had gotten into a drunken magical bar fight. This is evident by half of the cellar being frozen in time due to the magical energies unleashed by these drunken mages. This also explains the corners of the map where uh, enemies spawn, but they don't spawn from doors. They just spawn out of uh, these little particle effects. And these particle effects are supposed to be the magical distortion caused by the drunken bar fight. I added a few sections in the level that a friend of mine suggested. He suggested that I add stri stripper poles for entertainment, but not stripper poles for strippers. We imagined that since the mages were so passionate about magic, they would rather watch crystals spin around a stripper pole than an actual woman. <laughs> I started this project with a few top-down sketches. I actually went through a few designs before I settled with this one. I used primarily the vanilla game levels as reference, and this map is supposed to be played shortly after being beating the game. I designed the layout primarily with the apprentice in mind, seeing as he's a mage and this is a tavern for mages. But I also had the other three non-DLC starting classes in mind. I wanted to have obvious choke points in the sides, uh, the two side crystals, but to have three of them to spread out your building resources. I wanted the center crystal to be obvious to defend, but require a few more res resources. The enemies can actually take multiple routes, and have the possibility to get to all three crystals. This gives the player the choice of building close to the crystal and managing his resources easier, or blocking the enemies closer to their spawn points to prevent that element of, of randomness. And that's about it for now. Thanks for watching my development walkthrough for Arcane Tavern.